Okay, so here is my Azuzu. It just all of a sudden wanted to run rough. And I did a compression test on it. Put new plug wires, new plugs, new cap, new rotor. Still did the same thing. I found out this piston, this cylinder here, has only got 25 pounds per square inch. So I figure I'm going to have to put a new valve in this and uh, probably do a valve job on it. Um, and I brought. I bought my valve compressor over at Harbor Freight the other day for 10 bucks or something like that. And uh, so I was going to try and pull this EGR thing off. And man, it is way on there. It's not coming off this side. I put the PB blaster, heated it up. Man, it just would not come off. I tried all kinds of stuff on this thing. I took the, I did the candle wax trip. I tried the candle wax trip. And for that. those of you who don't know about the wax technique basically you heat your part up ideally you'd want to heat the manifold up uh, as hot as possible without cracking it and you take your candle and you put it on there and let the thread soak up the uh, soak up the uh, wax now I've, I've already tried this but it's I'm gonna give it one more try this is a very odd size on this uh, EGR valve uh, nut. Very odd size. It's like in between a, a 19 and a 20, something like that. And it doesn't seem to be fitting a regular standard thread fitting either. So it's a very odd size. I've tried to grab it with a vice grip as well. Started to sort of... Uh, you know, booger the end of that uh, nut, but uh, so here's basically what you do with your wax with your candle. Now, what I did is I just basically stuck that on here and then let the wax seep in. Okay, so let's give it a try here. You can see it's pretty hot, smoking hot. And we just take a candle and we're gonna put it up against it and we'll let it soak up some some wax. And supposedly it gets in there, it gets in those threads, seeps in there, and uh, helps it loosen everything up. So that's the wax technique. I've already tried it once, it hasn't really worked. I'm gonna give it one more try. Yeah, so this one is just not happening. Um, so one friend of mine suggested, so this is a, a 3 8 It's almost like a cross between a, a 21 and a 22, I think. Anyway, what my friend suggested is that I get the nearest one that's closest to that and that EGR nut and then cut this off here just enough to slip around that S slip around that the tube and that way I can get a pretty good grab on it with one of these but I have to cut uh, almost a third out of this in order to get that over there and it's just a real barrier over here because it's you know it's got There's no room over here, basically. I can't even see it. I'm taking a camera up here. And it's up there, and it's just a devil to get to. And so, yeah. It's just hard. I think, I can't even remember what I did last time. Oh, I may have just left it on and pried it apart. see it at all so maybe if I look at this camera shot I can figure out a little bit more about it it's definitely in there pretty tight I may have I may have just taken the manifold loose 
uh, and pried it, pried it back to get the manifolds off and done it that way last time, but it's definitely not coming off this time. Uh, or not coming off very easily. You know, I got, got this thing here I was pounding on and it just, it's just not, not doing it. I'm going to probably stick my foot in there and see if I can get a little torque with my foot to do that. Oh yeah, that's a bastard. And it still didn't budge. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull it off on the other side where it goes into the intake manifold. And then I can separate the, uh, the two manifolds and get this thing off. And so it's got these tight little hoses in here for the heater. I'm going to have to take the coil off because it's got uh, these intake manifold bolts are just a nightmare to get to. Um, and I was trying to figure out that tensioner on that belt. Uh, I couldn't figure out that timing belt tensioner. Uh, I tried to, there is a nut here on the center uh, hole, but uh, I stuck a socket in there. I couldn't get that thing loose anyway. So yeah, the story is on this one, I was running it and it started puffing out white smoke, little white smoke out of the blue. It wasn't driving it hard or anything. And I put the I put the radiator, or the block sealer in there. I put the bars, stop leak, whatever in there and then and it worked I retorked the heads and it worked for a while uh, but it kept overheating so I popped a new radiator in it and, it and it ran fine for about another year and just out of the blue it just burnt this valve all of a sudden and so yeah quite the project but you know it's an old truck but I think it's worth uh, putting some money into I'm so damn proud of it